Hello, and thanks for joining me for another video. PDF is a great format for preserving the quality of your documents and protecting their content from unauthorized use. But if you don't have the right tool on hand, working with PDFs can quickly become a nightmare. Today, we'll be learning about a quick and simple way to modify PDFs. The PDF format is capable of storing various types of content, such as text, graphics, video, audio, and more. This format will maintain the layout and content of the document, no matter what device or operating system it is viewed on. However, the format may lead to increased difficulty in editing images contained in the document. This tutorial will teach you how to insert new images into a PDF, rotate and resize images, and finally, remove any images you don't want. I'm going to add a new image to this section of my document. I'll select the Add Image icon under the Edit tab and choose my image from available formats such as JPEG, PNG, Bitmap, and more. I can also right-click on my page and select Add Image from the menu. Alternatively, I can drag my image file onto the page and choose Add as an Image, then reposition it anywhere on the page. I can adjust the image size freely by pulling on the blue box around the image. Or I can retain the image aspect ratio by holding down the control and shift keys while I pull on the box. Holding the green dot at the top of my image lets me rotate the image to a specific degree. This PDF also contains some images that I don't want. To remove these images, I'll click the edit icon found on the left side of the ribbon. Now I'll select one of the images and right-click. I can delete this single image, or choose Select All and hit the Delete key. PDF Element will revolutionize the way you edit images. You can make modifications to images without leaving your PDF. There it is! You've just learned something new with PDF Element. Make sure to save your PDF to apply the changes we made. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comment section below, and tell me what other tutorials you'd like to see.